The 18th National T20 Cup Cricket Tournament begins in Rawalpindi today. With the ICC T20 World Cup around the corner, the event provides an excellent opportunity to spectators to watch live in action their favourite cricketers. After the Pakistan Cricket Board announced the schedules and squads for the National T20 21-22, which will be held from the 23rd of September till 13th of October. The 18 leg of Rawalpindi matches which were earlier planned for Multan, will now be played at Rawalpindi Cricket Stadium till 3rd of October. While Qadhafi Stadium will remain the venue of the remaining 15 matches that will commence on the 6th of October. Both semi-finals will be played on 12th of October, with the first match to commence at 3 o'clock and the second match to begin at 7.30. The National T20 is a fiercely and highly entertainment tournament. It not only provides opportunities to cricketers to stake claims in the national side, but leading performers get a chance to be included in the HBL PSL player draft and then picked by the franchises. The event has become even more important and critical as members of Pakistan squad for next month ICC T20 World Cup will be in action. With each player to get at least 10 matches, they will aim to strike form and fitness that can help them be in their best shape when they arrive in the UAE on 15th of October. The participation of finest cricketers in the national T20 will enhance the reputation, value and significance of the tournament. While providing the next generation of cricketers a chance to rub shoulders with the national stars and learn the art of preparing and performing at the highest level. Pakistan's wicketkeeper Mohammad Rizwan will lead the defending champion Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa. Runners-up Southern Punjab will be captained by hard-hitting top-order batsman Soheb Maksud. Babar Azam, Pakistan all for Format captain and second rank T20 batsman will captain Central Punjab and Pakistan ODI opener Imamul Haq will lead Balochistan. Sindh have kept faith in former captain Sir Faraz Ahmed, while Pakistan white ball vice captain Shadab Khan will be in charge for Northern. Apart from Babar, Rizwan, Shadab and Soheb, other members of the ICC T20 World Cup squad to feature in the 33-match National T20 are Azam Khan, Khosh Dil Shah, both for Southern Punjab, Hassan Ali Muhammad Hafiz, both Central Punjab, Imad Wasim for Northern, Muhammad Hasnan for Sindh, Asif Ali, Harish Rauf, Imad Wasim, Muhammad Nawaz, all for Northerns and Muhammad Wasim Jr. and Shain Shah Afridi for Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa. The first match will be played between Balochistan and Northerns, while the second match will be played between Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa and Central Punjab. The Balochistan squad include Captain Imamul Haq, Bismillah Khan Vice Captain, Abdul Wahid, Abdul Wahid Bangalzai, Akbar Ur Rahman, Akif Javed, Ahmad Bhatt, Ayaz Tasawar, Gohar Faiz, Haris Suhail, Jalat Khan, Junaid Khan, Kashif Bhatti, Khuram Shahzad, Muhammad Ibrahim Senior, Umaid Asif, and Yasir Shah. While Central Punjab comprises of Babar Azam as Captain, Hassan Ali Vice Captain, Abdullah Shafiq, Ahmed Safi Abdullah, Ahmed Shahzad, Ehsan Adil, Fahim Ashraf, Hussain Talat, Kamran Akmal, Muhammad Akhlaq, Muhammad Hafiz, Qasim Akram, Saif Badr, Shoeb Malik, Usman Qadir, Wahab Riyaz and Vakas Maksud. Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa, the defending champion, will be led by Muhammad Rizwan, while Shain Shah Afridi will be the vice captain. The rest of the players are Adil Amin, Arshad Iqbal, Asif Afridi, Fakhar Zaman, Iftikhar Ahmed, Imran Khan Sr., Israrullah, Maaz Khan, Muhammad Harish, Muhammad Imran Khan, Muhammad Wasim, Musaddiq Ahmed, and Sahib Zada Farhan. The Northern team will be led by Shadab Khan and Muhammad Nawaz will be the vice captain of the team. The remaining players are Rohail Nazir, Ali Imran, Asif Ali, Haider Ali, Harish Rauf, Imad Wasim, Musa Khan, Nasir Nawaz, Salman Irshad, Suhail Akhtar, Suhail Tanvir, Umar Amin, Zaman Khan and Zishan Malik. The Sindh team will be led by Sir Faraz Ahmed and Anwar Ali will be the vice captain of the team. The remaining players are Abrar Ahmed, Ehsan Ali, Danish Aziz, Hassan Mohsin, Khuram Manzoor, Mir Hamza, Mohammad Hasnan, Mohammad Taha, Roman Rais, Saud Shakil, Shan Masood, Shah Nawaz Dhani, Sharjil Khan and Zahid Mahmood. And last but not the least, Southern Punjab will be led by Suheb Maksud and Zishan Ashraf will be the vice captain. The remaining players are Amir Yamin, Azam Khan, Dilbar Hussain, Faisal Akram, Hassan Khan, Imran Randhawa, Khush Dil Shah, Muhammad Ilyas, Naseem Shah, Salman Ali Aga, Tayyab Tahir, Umar Khan, Zain Abbas 
and Ziaul Haq. The most successful team in the tournament so far, Sialkot Stallions are the most successful team in the tournament, winning it on six occasions in 2006 twice, 2008, 2009, 2010 and 2011. The next best team is Lahore, who have won the title on five occasions, Lahore Lions thrice, Lahore Blues and Lahore Whites once each. Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa, also the defending champion, as they won the final against Southern Punjab in 2020, are the third most successful region in a way that their city Peshawar has also won national T20 twice in 2014 and 2015. The remaining three titles have gone to Faisalabad Wolves in 2005, Karachi Blues in 2016 and Northern in 2019. Khurram Manzoor, who is playing for Sindh, is the most prolific batsman in the tournament history with 2,643 runs. He is also the only batsman with four centuries in the tournament. There are three more batsmen, Kamran Akmal with 2,377 runs, Shoaib Malik with 2,217 runs and Omar Amin with 2,047 runs with 2,000 plus runs, while the two closest to the milestones are Muhammad Hafiz with 1,991 runs and Soheb Maksud with 1,883 runs. Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa kept Muhammad Rizwan with 967 will also be looking to complete 1,000 runs milestones. Saeed Ajmal is the most successful bowler in the National T20 with 89 wickets, three of them coming in the player of the match effort in Faisalabad Wolves win in the final against Karachi Dolphins in 2005. At least two bowlers, Wahab Riaz, 81, and Anwar Ali, with 79 wickets, will be looking to break Ajmal's record in this year's tournament. Both also have the realistic chance of becoming first bowler with 100 wickets in the tournament. Mohammad Hafiz, with 49 wicket, is just one wicket away from becoming the first with a double of 1,000 runs and 50 wickets in National T20 tournament. So, Maksud, who hit 26s, in the previous edition of the tournament and helped Southern Punjab reach the final is the most prolific six hitter in the national T20 with 91 maximums. The next best is Northern hard hitting batsman Asif Ali who has hit 86 sixes. Both are within a good distance of becoming the first to hit 100 sixes in the national T20. If anyone comes close to breaking Khushdil Shah's fastest 100 record, then we are in for a treat this time too. Last year, playing for Southern Punjab, Khushdil Shah recorded 100 of 35 bowls against Sindh in Rawalpindi and broke Umar Akmal's 43 ball 100 national T20 record. It was also the fastest 100 scored by any batsman from Pakistan in 20 overs cricket. Khushdil hit 25 sixes last year, the most by anyone in 2020 edition. The only individual innings of 150 by a Pakistani batsman also came in this tournament when Kamran Akmal hit an unbeaten 150 for Lahore Whites against Islamabad in Rawalpindi in 2017. 12 sixes in that innings is also a tournament record. Each of the top three highest scorers in National T20 have come at Pindi Cricket Stadium. Best Bowling Performances Irfanuddin, record of six wickets for 25 runs, is unbroken for 15 years. Karachi Dolphins off-break bowler made this record against Sialkot Stallions in Karachi in 2006. The best bowling figures by a fast bowler belongs to Mohammad Asif, who playing for Sialkot Stallions took five wickets for 11 runs against Faisalabad Wolves in 2006. With Shaheen Shah Afridi taking two five-wicket hauls in the last year's National T20 and Wahab Riyaz won, we can expect some more big bowling performances this year. The captain of the six participating teams of the National T20 have urged fans in Rawalpindi and Lahore to rally behind the tournament, which showcases the best of Pakistan T20 talent. And on this note, we come to the end of our show. Till our next program, it's goodbye from Sports 360.